which therapist you need. Therapy Thursday. Now on Wild 94.1. I understand therapy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. Therapy Thursday is the lick right here. The number is 888-429-0941. You can call or you can text. Any question is fair game. All right. If you have something on your mind and you need a little advice, the therapists are here. We're not brilliant, but we play brilliant on the radio. We do our best. We do our thing. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Meredith, you are first up. Okay. Uh, it says, my girlfriend and I took a break for a minute. And when we got back together, I found out she was texting back and forth with one of my old roommates. When I asked about it, she said they only went to lunch. While I don't really F with the old roommate, her choice to entertain this has me in my feels. Am I am I wrong or is this over? You decided to both take a break. We need to be mature here about this. She's, is this a friend's reference you're about to do? She said that they didn't hook up. They didn't have, you know, sleep together. They just had lunch and were texting one another. I would be okay with this. This is definitely something I could get over. It would be hard for me to get over somebody actually being way more intimate about things. So, you know what? It happened in the past. We both decided to, you know, take a break. Who knows what you did? You know, are you telling the truth about what you did as well? So, you know, you got to take it at face value here. Hmm. Uh, okay. Um, what do you think? I, I, I would just want to add. I know I ain't supposed to ask you, I know. but I, what, what do you think? She did this on purpose. Right. To this wasn't him. random. And she knew that you would have that reaction, especially the part I don't F with him. She knew that would cut deep. She, it, it, she's. Her plan is working. Yes, actually, and, and that and that's why I think you don't trust people who you. They're like he said. What did he say? Her choice mm-hmm. to entertain has me in my feels. Mm-hmm. If you choose to rock with somebody who I don't mess with, that means you disloyal to a whole nother point. We don't need to reboot this at all. But we decided not. But to that's the be ops. together at that time. That's the ops. ops. You can't mess with the ops. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So I thought that they just didn't talk to each other. I didn't know that there was like hate there for his ex roommate. No, nah, if you if if it's somebody I don't mess with and you mess with them when we on a break, oh. you keep them. Yeah, that's what it is. But if you want her and you guys want to get over it, I mean, you're gonna have to put that in the past. You don't, asked don't Meredith. You asked Meredith, and she said you all good. I could get. But past Davi that. and I have a vote, and we say your relationship's over. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Just to let that's you know, we keep it funky. I got one for you, Orlando. <laughs> yes. It says my son wants to make music for a living. He's been doing it as a hobby since he was 16. He is now 20, but he's talking about doing it full time and quitting his job because he says the only way he can succeed is to go all in. He still lives at home but how long should i allow this i don't think he's gonna make it big he's still under my roof i want to be supportive but also realistic you could be supportive um but just make sure that you kind of set him up for 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 a win instead of failure and let him know that you know being a starving artist is part of that whole process and you gonna keep him from starving but he gotta have a plan that the most people who succeed in the game don't necessarily go all in like it's broke or nothing they have a back a backup for their bills. They work so they can play. They work like a, if you're an actress and you do waitressing gigs or bartending or whatever, they find something that fits around their schedule. So don't think that just because you want to go all in on your dream that you get to absolved of bills and responsibility. And that's what you got to teach them. Like, yo, your dreams are valuable, but you still got to pay bills. Yeah. So let's find a way, <laughs> something that fits into what it is that you want to do but when it fails, because I've heard you play and I don't think you're that good. When it fails, you can have something to go back on. If it doesn't fail, then, you know, you're good. I think that's a good parent. Be supportive, but be also su- pay your bills. Be supportive, but hey, man, you got to yeah. have something to do. Bartend or do something. You got to make sure that something fits around your game. I got one for Davi. Good morning, Davi. My boyfriend and I have been together for almost eight years. We went on our first trip together last summer, and I fully expected him to propose, and he didn't. We had a conversation about it afterwards, and he said he wasn't even thinking about it at the time. I've given it more time and expressed how important it is for me as I've helped him raise his son full time, and I'm ready to have kids of my own, but he's still not giving me anything I've asked for. Am I wrong to give him an ultimatum? I, an ultimatum probably isn't going to end well. I think uh, another serious conversation, ask him what exactly his apprehension is. And I think you can put pressure on him, but not the ultimatum way. 
I think you could express to him how important it is, how you want to, you know, lock in this this family structure and things like that. And still, he might not go for it. A lot of people just don't have this expectation or want to get married. Well, that's actually true. Right, but she does. So can you be with somebody that doesn't feel the same way as you do? I, that's a personal choice. Yep. That's compromise. That's what that is. Right. Maybe his timing don't match yours, but... We'll make it there I at some with point. Like, that. like, <laughs> like who? Like, like this guy oh, right, that guy here. right there. Like, hey, compromise, all right? You gotta let him know how important it is to you. At, at the end of the day, see see what his response is, and let him know that this could be a deal breaker for you, but without drawing that line in the sand. There you go. Draw we got more drawing. of your text eight 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 four two nine zero ninety four one. Your questions up next after the baby. Yeah. Like Therapy that. Thursday eight 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 four two nine zero ninety four one. If you got a question, feel free fire it up. We got a few coming in here. Meredith, you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this says wedding rings. Should married people wear wedding rings? Some jobs, you can't wear jewelry, but does that excuse your mate from not wearing the wedding ring while not at work? Would mm. that bother you out of the 727? Uh, Yes, it would bother me out of respect for, I don't know, our entire union and all the time and effort we put in with each other. But I will say this. I know plenty of couples that they either take it off and they wear, what are those little rubber band not rubber band. Like silicone? Yes, that's it. Those little bands. Um, and I know other couples that don't feel like they need to wear it at all, it, you know, because they have that trust with each other and doesn't really matter. For me, it would matter. Either way, I won't. I would think that if you bought me a nice ring that you would want me to wear and I would feel the same way about my partner. I wore a ring for four years, and I got to tell you, I still got like a blister right here from where it was really? like, it just, it, it, I hated it. It just didn't feel comfortable. I liked what it meant, right? But it didn't like right. You see this callus, like this callus right here. You can right. feel it. It's, it was from the ring, and I'm like, yo, that was a sign. Right? You there. put it on immediately. Went. I see some people who don't wear wing, rings and or they get the tattoo thing or whatever. Or they do it differently. I I just I think the ring is pretty antiquated. Really? You, know, you, like, you would care if your girl just stopped wearing the rings that you bought her? Man, if I have if I had somebody I trusted like that, I wouldn't care what the hell they wore. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, we down. We gang, gang. Yeah. You know, that's what we're doing. We got one for you. Oh, this is kind of still in the same uh, marriage realm. But it says, Orlando, my girlfriend and I have been together for three years. We were both married. I got divorced because she pushed for the divorce, but she won't get her divorce. She said she wants to wait. What should I do about this? You with somebody who's wait, but she's not divorced, right? So you're cheating. She, she's cheating on somebody. She's probably separated. One of, one of those type. Oh, deals. Yeah, okay. separated, right. not together. Um, I, and, but he got his divorce. She has, it. and she pushed for his. Yeah, that's see, that's just like I mean, that that's just shady. That feel that feels shady to me. I mean, you got to have somebody who's on your same page, and I believe that if somebody's asked you to do something, they should be willing to do the same. Um. Her situation might be different than yours, but still the fact that she was so adamant about it, you know, you got to ask her. And just I would ask her and say, hey, why was it so important for me to get divorced? Whatever the reason is that she gives you, give that same thing back. Do just like a therapist. Therapists pretty much don't tell you the answer. They pretty much repeat it back to you. And so you could see that you found the answer yourself. So ask, say, why was it so important that I did it? Because you need to do the same thing. You need to treat that same energy. I mean, if we're going to be in love, love. (laughs) <laughs> we just playing, playing, and well, that's different. Um, this is for anybody in the room. Out of the A13, it says, I'm 36, dating a 26 year old. Hmm. <laughs> and then it says, He's not where I want him to be financially. No kidding. Wait, she's the that, older that, one? Yeah, she's right. the she's the older one. Where were you 10 years ago? Were right. you where you wanted to be financially? Right. I, I think you got to. Give the man some time. You know, you most, might have to wait a decade. Most twenty-six-year-olds really don't have their ish together. No kidding. Like like that. That ten years between twenty-six and thirty-six is kind of like a come-up period. <laughs> Isn't that a price to pay for having you a young model? Absolutely. Usually, like yes. if you you can get you a thirty-eight. 39, 40 year old man, yeah. but that man got those 40 year old problems. Uh-huh. You wanted you a young man. And? And you got one, and he got a paper route. And he got so some problems. So, what's the problem with that? <laughs> right. What's the problem with a man having a paper route? Yeah, you can't expect him just to grow up overnight. Now, not being ambitious, now that's a different scenario. Being Not being there yet is one thing. Never wanting to get there is a separate mm-hmm. issue. Yeah, mm-hmm. But, I mean, ain't nothing wrong. If you, don't have, if you don't have a problem with him being 10 years younger than you, then don't have a problem with his finances. 
finances being 10 years younger than Right. Yeah. Might as well date somebody older. That'll uh, at least bring she you don't that want aspect. That. She wants that young man. At 26, I was still overdrafting my account. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was tough. Oh, my God. At yes, 26, my, sure. my, my, my electricity was off every month. Yeah. <laughs> I would come home and hit the garage and be like, oh, damn. <laughs> 26, I was riding dirty with no insurance. Oh, my God. I remember okay. that. I think yeah. that's where I met you. I was like, you ain't got no damn insurance. Uh, I got one for Davi in Orlando. My yeah. husband and I own a bar slash club, and we have a manager in place who hires people based off of her friendship with them. We don't mind that aspect, but some of the bartenders are not, let's say, attractive, and we don't know how to say it without saying it. In Just this like business. That. Appearance is half of the battle, and it almost is everything. How do we have this conversation? They adopt the word booger woofs. <laughs> That's what you need to do. You need to explain to the manager and say, listen, we ain't hiring. This ain't a kennel. Uggos. Right. <laughs> like, well, you know, we want some good-looking folks. If it's sales, if it's modeling, if it's the – there's certain – Certain product codes in business that got to look good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a calling card. If you got people out there passing out flyers and they look like wolves, then you, nobody's going to take the, the goods. So you get, you want somebody who looks good. You want it. It's a marketing position. Let's do better. There ain't nothing wrong with saying that. And I know that owning a club, restaurant, whatever is busy, but you are not too busy to do the hiring yourself. Right. If you have a business, that needs to be your baby. You're not running Caesar's Palace. You can do the hiring and firing yourself. Too many business owners lean on, the manage, on the, their management, and it's one of the easiest ways to go downhill. There you go. All right, one more out of the 941. Meredith, my man has five kids outside of R1. Yeah. Okay, so there's six kids involved in this. Mm -hmm. Meredith, my man has five kids outside R1, and every summer they come down to visit. They are absolutely horrible and downright disrespectful. I try to deal with it, but how, la how late is it's too late to decide maybe being a stepmother isn't for you. Um, that's, oh, my God. That's a, that's a deep confession for sure. Uh, you knew this ahead of time, so this wasn't a surprise. The thing is, it being a stepmom, there's only so much you can do in the beginning. Daddy is the one that's supposed to be breaking it down, making sure that the rules are set. You do not treat stepmommy or anybody else like this. You do not ruin the house. You do not treat others disrespectful. You're not my mama. Right. Oh, you're not my mama. <laughs> Can't say that to stepmama. You know what I mean? Um, and it sounds like he's maybe not do playing his role strong enough as the man of the house. And also, those are his kids and not yours. Um, I <laughs> You know, it sounds like you got to take it on the chin. If you want to be in a relationship with him, just know that your summers are going to be filled with, filled with chaos and see if he can step up a little bit more. I mean, way more. He has to be. He I, has to step up. I, I've seen a lot of people um, lash out at being mad that the relationship ain't together no more. Like, these kids are mad that he ain't probably with them. Maybe. And so that's probably indicative of why they acting up and acting an ass. You know what I'm saying? So if anything, if you leave, they kind of win. So the whole, like, we need to be a united front is really where y'all need to be from the beginning because before these little hellions come down for the summer, right. you and him should probably get together on the same page right. and here's how we going to handle this as a unit. Because if y'all ain't a unit, yeah, you going to mess around and leave and, and mess up the whole game. Let's call a family meeting as well, right when everybody gets there. You oh, better Meredith. drop them off at the Boys and Girls Club, oh, Summer God. Camp, the YMCA, something. That's expensive. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, that, that's for true. For five or six kids, yeah, it's five very kids expensive. or whatever. Uh, but, I mean, you got one good kid, but them other five, you can drop <laughs> them off somewhere else. <laughs> <At> the <park. laughs> like, let them know. Like, hey, listen, y'all coming down to visit if i have any problems with y'all there's a military camp right down the <laughs> down road street. i will drop y'all off and maybe that'll motivate them and they, they didn't include the ages but you know maybe the oldest one is almost working age or something like that because you could get a little part-time job dad at needs 15. to step up yeah he ain't he ain't, he ain't stand up. <laughs> Yeah, dad, he got dad, six kids. He tired. <laughs> That's why I left y'all. I didn't really like y'all like that. All right, every Thursday is a wrap. We got more coming up for you, including some gas. Somebody just text to Orlando. I need some gas from the Freak Show. Well, that's coming up in 16 minutes. Let's go.